Our next artist is Nils Udo. He is a painter, photographer, and sculptor. Let's take a look at his work. You will notice that he uses a lot of trees and sticks, roots and rocks. When we look at his work, we see that everything is very contained. What does the word contained mean? Well, you know when we have a container and we put things inside and the objects inside are nice and cozy and safe? Well, that's how his work looks. When we look at his work, it almost looks like little creatures or fairies or gnomes could live inside. His work is contained. It has a cozy, safe feel to it. Some of his work is circular. Others has rectangles and squares with objects contained inside. If you look at the top left corner, you will see that the wood is stuck in the ground in a diagonal pattern and it forms a circle. All of the sticks are radiating outward. If you look at the piece in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see it's just a tree with a mass of roots, but he's outlined those roots in a contained rectangular shape sort of protecting what's on the inside. If you look at the top middle image, you'll see what almost looks like a bird's nest. It seems like you could crawl inside and take a nap, doesn't it? And the artwork on the bottom center is a tree that's fallen over in nature, but he's cut all of the elements around it to form a square shape. It almost looks like you could crawl inside and play hide and seek. And the image in the upper right is similar and it looks like a little nest. The way all of the twigs are sort of tilted inward forming this protection. And in the bottom right, we see that he has built these rectangles into the, the side of almost a hill where he has tucked these rocks in there and sort of made them nestled inside and cozy. What do you think creatures in nature would think about his art if they stumbled upon it on one of their journeys? Do you think they would want to crawl inside and take a nap? I know I would. Let's see if you can sculpt something like this. Go out in your woods and see if you can find some rocks and some sticks and see if you can create something warm and cozy like this for maybe one of your little Lego people or one of your fairies or garden gnomes. Wouldn't that be fun? Have fun.